Good morning, Carl here with today's Sustainability Theory News. Still getting over that cold, as you can hear my voice, but we'll go on to the lead story today. This is at the Permaculture Research Institute. And how to get a hot shower out of your compost, as you can see from this diagram. You got the water line running through a coil inside the compost pipe, going straight to the shower. There's a, I heard about a farmer in France who did a similar system, but instead of just having the compost in a pile, he put it in a giant sealed steel tank, and it got really hot. He even produced methane as well as extracting heat for hot water. And he used that hot water to heat his house through a radiating uh, floor heating system. All right, a story over at the Global Forum on Agricultural Research. This is another youth agripreneur proposal. Realizing the dream of aquaponics, this is a very simple aquaponic system. You got your fish tank here, which I would design this to be a little wider and uh, so the fish can swim and get some oxygen past their lungs. But basically just a easy pump up to the top and then gravity brings the water down here. You can see a finished picture of the prototype. And as you can see, he has a little bit of water, stays in here at the bottom. When it overflows, it comes down here to the top, so, and then comes down here into a very, just little plastic tank. And it's very simple, but again, you want a wide tank so the fish have room to swim and get oxygen to their lungs. And it doesn't look like he, have a, he has an air stone in there, so I'd put an air stone in there as well. Over at the Permaculture Podcast, an introduction to the Philadelphia Orchard Project. Just a quick podcast on how the Philadelphia Orchard Project is impacting the community where they grow orchards around the city of Philadelphia, obviously. You know, it's in their name. Over at Temperate Climate Permaculture, a story about how they use their animals to plow their fields and uh, maintain their farm. Help graze down their grass. You know, they do a little bit of everything over here. They got, uh, just manage their land using modern permaculture practices. Movable pe pens and hen houses. Look, they got ducks free ranging, pigs free ranging, tilling up the soil for them. Yeah, you know, does good work just using nature. Over at the Small Farmer's Journal, I built my own buck rake. Basically a way to collect that hay. I'll we'll scroll down here to the bottom. As you can see, this picture here is a uh, head-on view. It's got some teeth right there. These side posts for the horses and a seat for the driver. And we'll go down. You see some of the construction, but there's a picture of the plans down here. A couple different styles. And this is the one pictured above, roughly the one pictured above. So if you need a hay rake, you might be able to build your own. Over a big picker, picture agriculture, they're linking to a TED Talk about the future of food production from Caleb Harper, director of City Farm. This here is a screenshot of you know the interconnected farms and transportation systems that move our food around the world. He also has several screenshots of uh, farms and whatnot. He basically built indoor farms using LEDs and hydroponics, all sorts of sensors, 30 different sensor readouts, and they all connected to the internet. He wants to create a Wikipedia of environmental recipes, CO2, air temperature, humidity, uh, you know, overall pressure. And anyone, um, any really intense food scientist will know that the vapor pressure deficit is really what gets food production up, which is a combination of temperature, humidity, and CO2. Over another youth agripreneur proposal, just wanted to show you guys this really quick, this picture of a palm kernel husker. It's, you know, cracks the nuts and separates the seeds from the husks, which uh, gets a really great production capacity. I mean, it, it increases their production capacity tenfold versus a simple machine in a hundredfold over doing it by hand. Another youth agripreneur proposal, last story of the day. From Farm to Face, the journey of natural skin care. And just goes over how people in the developing world with Barbados are creating natural skincare products for sale. 
That's it for today. Please leave your questions and comments below. Have a good one.